All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install TeamViewer on your Ubuntu Mate Linux computer. This will allow someone to work on your machine uh, from a distance without bringing your computer to their house or vice versa. It allows you to connect to their computer so that you can see what's on their screen and manipulate files on their computer as if you were sitting in front of the computer. All right, to install TeamViewer on your computer, uh, bring up your browser. I like to use Google Chrome. You can type in Team Viewer Linux. Press enter. It will, the very first, I don't like to hit the ads. Those are commercial products. Uh, click the first one that doesn't have an ad, and it'll take you to the official website. It'll already be highlighted since you search for Team Viewer Linux. Just simply scroll down and make sure that you're actually on the Team Viewer for Linux. Look for your computer in this case I'm using a Ubuntu Mate I am using a 64-bit version so I'm gonna click download team viewer and as you notice in the lower left hand corner it will download it it only takes a few seconds about five seconds to download just like with Windows when you download an executable file your antivirus programs may sense that as a virus and warn you that it could be dangerous uh, this is very similar. Debian files or DEB files are kind of like executable files that can run in the background, but they're not going to install a, a virus. And we know this is safe, so we can say to keep the file. And after it quits blinking, and that's officially finished downloading into your download folder, we've got two choices. We can show in the folder, or we can actually open the file. In this case, I'm, I don't really care to see it in the folder. I'm going to go ahead and hit open. I click on open and it's a package installer appears, the package installer within Ubuntu that will install the program. I just click one time to make sure it's officially on the box and, and for looking at this video it's a lot easier if I close the background, the browser. Alright, after it comes up it may show it needs some dependencies which means it needs some files that it doesn't have. In my case my computer already has everything. Even if it's missing some files, you can hit details and it'll show two or three files that it's needing. When you install the package, it'll just go through the first step and it will install the dependencies that's needed. And then it will install TeamViewer on your computer. To do that, just go ahead and hit install the package. You put your password of your computer. And then press return or you can click OK. And you're logged in now as a super user, meaning that you can make changes to your system. And in a few moments, it will search through and make sure you've got the dependencies. And like I said, if you don't, it will install them. And in my case, I did have them. So I'm skipping the dependencies since I've already met those requirements. And it's now installing the software on the computer. And if you didn't have those, it will install it. And just a little bit, it goes through and it completes the installation but it's not quite finished. You just wait till it shows up here to scan again. So don't click install for the second time. Sometimes that's a common mistake. People think it's done and they think, well, what, it didn't install, and they click it again. Just wait till it says reinstall or remove. So if you want to remove the package, you just simply go to the Debian file, click and hit remove, or there's other ways of removing it, but we don't want to remove it. All right, we're finished, so we're not gonna remove it. We're not gonna reinstall it. We can close the installer out. Now we bring up our terminal. If you've never used the terminal before, it's not too scary. You click on the terminal. And this is kind of like the DOS prompt if you've ever used DOS within Windows. This is just the Ubuntu terminal, the Linux terminal. I am going to type in the word Team Viewer. When I press the Enter key, it's going to check to meet, make sure that I have everything, all the requirements. It then loads it up, but because this is the first time I'm using it, I'm going to accept the license agreement. All right, when this screen pops up on your computer screen, now don't close the terminal. If you do, it will close out Team Viewer. You don't have to sign up over here. You can close that box out. But when this box appears on your screen, you can then leave it up on your screen and email the person that wants to work on your computer your ID and your password. Now, you don't have to worry about someone hacking into your computer if they get this number. When you're finished and close it out, this is a number generated each time that you bring up TeamViewer. So the next time I bring it up, it will be a different number and a different password. As long as this is up on your screen, 
while you email the person and they get that number or if you call them and give them your ID and your password they can put this into your partner this is the person you're collecting connecting to you put their ID which is the number on the top so they may ask you across the phone what is your ID you read out the top number and they'll put that in here then they'll say connect a partner a second screen will appear since I'm working individually I don't have another machine that I'm hooking to but when I hit my connect to my partner it will then connect to that ID across the internet and then it will prompt for the password that's on the other person's computer I then enter that password and as long as both people have team viewer running in the background then the person like myself could control the computer on the other end with my computer now once we're completely finished and we close out team viewer that breaks the connection and no one else can get in the computer it clears out this number here so that way that someone like myself can work on the computer from a distance so hopefully this is a great way that someone that lives far away can get someone to work on their computer without getting them to come to their house or taking the computer a far away I hope this helped.